In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate the monthly car payment of a car loan. So let's work on this problem here. Sally takes a 10-year, $30,000 loan to purchase a car at a 6% fixed annual interest rate. What is Sally's monthly car payment? Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So the formula that we're going to use is this equation. The monthly car payment is going to be the principal times the fixed annual interest rate divided by n. Now n is the number of payments that will be made in one year. Since we're trying to calculate the monthly payment and there's 12 months in a year, n has to be 12. So we're going to divide all of this by 1 minus 1 plus r over n raised to the negative nt. So that's the formula that you need in order to calculate the monthly payment of any loan. So let's write down what we know. We know the principal of the loan. It's $30,000. Now, Sally didn't put any money down, so this is just the beginning balance of the loan. The annual interest rate is 6%. Now, we need to convert 6% to a decimal. In order to do that, divide by 100. 6% divided by 100 is 0 0.06. So that's what we need to plug in for our R value. Now the next thing that we need is N and T. We know that N is 12. Now what is T? T is basically the term of the loan. It's the time in years. And since this is a 10-year loan, T is going to be 10 years. Now, let's go ahead and plug everything that we have into this formula. So we have the principal, which is 30,000, times R over N. R is 0 0.06, N is 12, all divided by. one minus one plus r, so r is the same, 0 0.06, n is 12, raised to the negative n, and then times t, t is 10. So let's do this one step at a time. 30,000 times 0 0.06 divided by 12, that's 150. This is going to be divided by 1 minus 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 is 1.005. Negative 12 times 10, that's negative 120. So go ahead and plug in this entire thing in your calculator. Make sure to put two sets of parentheses and don't forget to close it at the end. Otherwise, your answer might be different. So the final answer is $333.06. So that will be Sally's monthly car payment given this 10-year 30K loan. Now what we have here is an online calculator. If you go to Google and type in online loan calculator, this website should post up bankrate.com. And it's a nice you know way to calculate your monthly payment uh, for any loan. So we can confirm if our answer is correct. So in our example, we had a $30,000 loan. The loan term was 10 years or 120 months. And we had a fixed annual interest rate of 6%. And this is the exact answer that we got. The monthly payment is $333.06. The total interest paid on this loan is $9,900 and $67.38. You can also check out the amortization schedule if you click this. So you can see starting from September 2022, after you make your first payment, some of it will go to the principal, some will go to the interest, and this will be a balance. So this will eventually be paid off 
10 years later, August 2032. So I do have another video that explains how to create an amortization schedule and how to do so using Excel. So if you go to YouTube and type in amortization schedule, organic chemistry tutor, that video is going to come up for those of you who might be interested in that. Now let's work on another example. It's very similar but slightly different. Megan takes out a 20-year term $90,000 loan to purchase an electric vehicle at a 5% fixed annual interest rate. Now she makes a down payment of $10,000 towards the purchase of this car. What is Megan's monthly car payment? So let's begin by writing the formula. The monthly payment is going to be the principal or the balance of the loan times the annual interest rate divided by n. And this is all going to be divided by 1 minus 1 plus r over n raised to the negative nt. So let's write down what we know. What's the value of p in this problem? p is the principal. Now, she took a $90,000 loan, but she made a down payment of 10000 So when the process begins, the balance of her, her loan is going to be 80000 It's 90000 minus 10000 So she's going to start with a principal balance of 80000 R, the annual interest rate, is 5%. Now, we need to convert this value to a decimal. So 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05. Since we're still trying to calculate a monthly payment and not a quarterly payment or a weekly payment, and it's going to remain 12. Now, this is a 20-year term instead of a 10-year term loan. So T is 20 years. Now, let's go ahead and plug in everything into this formula. So we're going to have 80,000 times R. R is 0.05 divided by 12 all divided by 1 times 1 plus r over n raised to the negative nt so n is 12 t is 20 so let's simplify this 80,000 times 0 0.05 divided by 12 this is 333.3 repeatant. One plus 0 0.05 divided by 12. That's going to be 1.00416 repeatant. Now, 12 times 20 is 240. So this is going to be raised to the negative 240. Now, let's go ahead and plug everything in. So 333, now for, to write 0 0.3 repeating, just type in 333.33333. Add a few threes in there to make sure you get a fairly accurate answer. And then when you plug in 1.00416, add a few sixes in there too. Maybe like three or four. That'll keep the final answer accurate to the nearest hundredth place, which is what we need to round it to. So the monthly payment that I got is $527.96. So that's how much Megan is going to have to pay each month for 20 years in order to pay back this particular loan. Now let's make sure our answer is correct. So let's plug in the loan amount, which is 90,000 minus 10,000. So we're starting with an $80,000 balance. The loan term is for 20 years, and the interest rate was 5%. Calculate. And this is the answer we got, $527.96. The total interest that must be paid on this loan is pretty high, $46,000. So this is something that you want to reduce. The best ways to reduce the total interest paid is, number one, try to get a very low interest rate. Number two, 
you want to keep the amount that you the loan amount keep it as minimal as possible so try not to spend more than what you can afford or overdo it number three is the loan term if you can decrease the term of the loan this is going to increase your monthly payment so you're going to pay it off faster but it will also reduce the total interest paid because interest has less time to accumulate so those are some ways in which you can reduce the total interest paid on any loan reduce the, the loan amount that you're taking try to pay it off faster or reduce the interest rate on which the loan is based on 